Hello, in this video, we will discuss the Miraki Local Authentication Wireless Security Solution. To deploy the wireless solution for enterprise networks, we generally use radio servers to achieve 802.1x protected SSID authentication process. Cisco Miraki MR offers a feature called Local Auth that reduces the complexity by running a built-in radius saver on MR access point itself. However, when relevant servers are reachable, MR access points caches up to 24 hours the wireless client's authentication information. If wireless clients try to connect when the servers are unreachable, the MR access point consults its cache and accept or reject the authentication. Let's go over the required configuration at the Miraki dashboard where we navigate to the wireless access control to configure SSID settings. From the security section, we click on Enterprise Web and choose Local Auth from the drop down menu. We disable the certificate authentication and we enable password authentication. And we can set the cache timeout for the maximum value of 86400 seconds, which is equal to 24 hours. At the LDAP servers, we should type the host as FQDN, fully qualified domain name, which is matched the LDAP server certificate. It's recommended for the board to use 3268 as a global catalog LDAP board. Then we should type the LDAP admin credentials with read-only privileges. At the LDAP search base DN, we should type the domain component DC top level format. Finally, we should upload the LDAP server CA certificate. The supported formats are PEM and DER. For how to generate the LDAP server CA certificate, please check the Miraki documentation showing the process step by step. In addition, for more information on the Miraki local authentication 802.1x for the MR wireless solution, please check the documentation as well. I'm going to post the links in the description box for your reference. Now, after saving the configuration, let's do the test from the dashboard itself by clicking on the test button and type the user's credentials. Then let's do the actual wireless client test to connect to the corporate SSID and type the user's credential, then accepting the certificate by clicking connect. I hope you have found it very useful and thank you so much.